Well, good afternoon. I'm going to try to make a little devotional here today. Past several days, I've been kind of feeling bad with a bad voice and uh, kind of relying upon old uh, videos that we've uh, reposted. But today, I just feel like I'd like to try to make a new one here and spend this few minutes with you. Of course, this is Pastor Hayden and the Lord Likes Devotional. Just a couple days before Thanksgiving. So, only seems fitting that we should talk about things for which we are thankful. Yesterday, I talked about how I'm thankful for the call of God upon my life. How, uh, as a young man, God, or a young boy, actually, God called me to preach. And I'm uh, just so glad that I responded to the call. I'm convinced that my life has been so much better than it would have been had I failed to respond to the call to be a minister of the gospel. So I'm thankful for that. And today I want to talk about how thankful I am for the help that God has given me and the help that he is giving and the help that I'm going to receive in the days to come. You see, I could never do what God wants me to do. I could never be what he wants me to be, nor can you without his help. We, we depend upon God to help us in our calling, in our everyday life. Uh, we just simply cannot make it by ourselves. So I'm so glad that I can look back across the years and recognize that had it not been for the help that God has given to me, I could never have lived the Christian life this many years, nor could I have been faithful in ministry this many years. But God has been faithful to help us in every situation. And I know there are two things that uh, get the help that we need. And the first thing, we've got to acknowledge our need of help. Now, if we think we can do it all by ourselves, think that we don't have to have any help, uh, God's not going to be there for us. God never forces himself upon us in any way. He doesn't force us to open the door of our heart and let him come in and uh, to live and to reign in our life. And he never forces us to do anything that is against our will. We were created free will with free will, what we call free moral agent. We have the power of choice. And so, you know, you can either choose to call upon God and uh, or you can choose not to call upon God. I know we take great pride sometime in looking back and saying, look what I did. And there have been accomplishments that I have done that I take a certain pride in and that I like to find satisfaction in saying, look what I did. But uh, when it comes to ministry, what little I have done and what little I am doing, I could never do it without acknowledging that I need God's help. I have to tell him every day, Lord, I need your help. Lord, I want you to realize my insufficiencies. I want you to realize how inadequate I am. I want you to realize my weaknesses. I want you to realize how ignorant I am. And Lord, I need your help. And if we acknowledge our need of help, then I believe God is there to give us that help. But we've also got to ask for his help. Lord, I need your help. Now will you help me? And if you will acknowledge that you need help in whatever area of your life, maybe that uh, you're failing to maintain victory over uh, something that is getting you down spiritually and physically and morally, uh, you need to acknowledge you need God's help and you need to ask him for help. If you're trying to fulfill his call in your life, you need to acknowledge you cannot do it alone and you need to ask him for his help. So I believe that what little I have been able to do and what little I'm doing now, and if I get anything accomplished in the future, it will be because I acknowledge that I need God's help and I humbly ask him to help me to do what he wants me to do and to be what he wants me to be. Heavenly Father, we're nothing within ourselves. We cannot stand by ourselves. We cannot labor within our own strength successfully. We need your help. May we always be willing to acknowledge our need of your help and to not be too proud to ask for help. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. 
All right, I'll see you tomorrow on Lord Light's devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.